Watch out, Daria! Okay, no waffle. Let's get on with it. Start off with a frayed drumstick like this. I didn't learn technically, so I'm not going to teach technically. So please take note. This is not technical, but it should help you if you're uh, not technical also. We start slow. Let's do it slow. You need a very strong left hand. And how you can uh, strengthen that left hand is by doing plenty of single strokes, either with a drumstick or, you know, guys. OK, so. <laughs> so you start with a choke. We all know how to do a choke. A little bit of snap. A little bit of crack. Crack. Not a crack. A little snap. So, you go. Really easy. Learn the pattern. And it's a bit... <laughs> A bit faster than that, obviously. But here's where the tricky bit comes in. The next bit is the cymbals with the boom, ba da 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 ba da So, we've got boom, ba da 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 boom, ba da We are counting one, two, three, four on this cymbal. I'm going to slow it right down, and this is one that you're going to have to just forever repeat to yourself until it becomes your muscle memory, because it's not easy. Your brain's going to want to rebel against this riff. So when you go in the full whack with your left hand, it's doubling up what the right hand is doing on the on the crash ride crash ride so i would just practice going like this cuz it's going to take a while to grasp that if you've never done anything like that before And uh, if you really get really fast at that, you'll be able to do hardcore drumming like this. But anyway, that's not what we're here to learn today. I'll teach you that some other time. <laughs> so yeah, after, you've, after we've done that. We get into the first riff, which is another fairly complex beat. This song is fairly complex. It's hard to come out from the last part into this as well, um, but... Here's how it goes. So you got. And that loops around quite a few times. Power! It's important to learn that it's a falam. It's not done at the same time. Because it sounds weird and it feels weird if you do that. It's like... The sticks all bounce in a strange way. So you got to make sure you... Whichever way you're comfortable doing it, I lead with the left hand for some reason. And it just makes it sound a little more beefy. So what you've got is... The way to break it down is... Play it without all the uh, right hand action here, <laughs> fellas. You just uh... uh and all you need to do is just double up your right hand, which is the opposite of what you're doing. It's like you see? So it's uh worth learning how to do this. Um, 
just to t just to um, simplify it a little, let's just play it on the hi hat just so you can hear what it sounds like that way around. You've got kick drum on the offbeat there. You see? See, Steve? Yeah? Kick drum on the offbeat. And that leads into what is the chorus. It builds into the first chorus like this. Which is. And it's that looped a few times. Um, so the basic gist of that is. I'll just play it slow, uh, slower so you can see what's going on. The difference when you repeat that is there's an extra kick drum after the snare. Uh, and then it's... Fairly simple once you've learned how to do that. I don't think I keep, I don't look at you enough, do I? I'm not looking at you enough. I'll keep looking at you from now on. <laughs> After you come out the first chorus, you go straight back to the Tom riff for a short period. Period. So you got a. Uh... <laughs> You've got a small fill that just goes. Rum tum rum tum rum spark. So once you've done the. You've got a short rest there. You've got a very short rest there where you can have a, a little rest. <laughs> and then you go into a very straightforward beat, probably the most straightforward beat in the whole song. Which is, once again, it's the same beat as the chorus, just a little bit less full on. Okay, yeah, you get the idea. Um, eventually, we go on to the second half of that verse where we get into 16s territory on the hi-hat, I'm afraid, guys. It's not easy. You've got to keep the pattern going with your foot, which is going to be like this. It's the same kick pattern as the rest of the verse. You're just doubling up on the hi-hat there. Gradually, you need to open the hi-hat as you play towards the end of that verse. He goes like this. So out of that verse, it goes into the uh, small instrumental bit, which is a little more full on. Uh, I do like this beat. Uh, so you've got... And that takes you into the chorus, so that's um, you're doing a bit of a. But with a bit more going on. He throws more kicks in, like this. Everyone knows how to do that, don't they? Come on, guys. You can all do that. Then you've got another chorus. Then out of the chorus, we go back to the intro. And it's... <laughs> yep, see the beginning. Uh, and what we do then is go into the next bit of the intro as well, which is the more heavy... 
the final chorus, he throws in a little extra fill here, and it's this. It's the John Barnum classic, guys. And it's just in, in between the first little riff of the chorus and the heavier bit, so it's... So it's... Another one, just keep looping it, you'll learn it. Keep looping it, looping it, looping it until you just complete it in your sleep. When we come out of that chorus, we go into uh, um, a real simple beat again. So just to show you how we come out of there, it goes... It's a fairly simple one. Uh, you just repeat that for a few times and eventually you come to um, a slight build up which ends in a choke, which is this. And then you got the breakdown. Whatever it is, the one uh, that's very much like Muse. And you come back in with a few chucks on the hi-hat. I just hit the mic then, sorry Steve. And once you've done that build up, uh, there's a slight accent actually, the first hit is hard and the rest sort of build gradually as you go. And then you're into the full on beat right now. Another difficult one, if you're not used to playing it. real slappy but it's hard to play slow I'm telling you um, so the first fill is quite simply oh no it's hard to break this down actually so you got It's another pattern that once you uh, learn it in your head, you'll be able to play it like the back of your hand because you always play like the back of your hand. Uh, as you can see, this drumstick's really... Uh, whew. I th have I done that beat enough? So yeah, the first fill is, the second fill is, and the third fill is, and the fourth fill is one of the classics, and the fifth fill is another, uh, and then you um, you just repeat that riff. <laughs> I actually played this bit wrong on our recording, um, but I'll let myself off because I think the rest of the take was all right, but this is how um, it should be done. So you go full on uh, hitting at the same time now. I don't know what you call it. That's how you end it. Power tutorial! Very dull power tutorial. I ran out of power. If you haven't seen the cover, it's here.
I've done another tutorial before. It's one of our most watched videos. It's over here. Wherever it is. Where are you? Somewhere. Thanks for watching. Do not comment on this video. Do not subscribe. And do not, do not learn how to play this song either. Don't thank me. Never thank me.